Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we have something very important to discuss in the world of jailbreaking. And before we begin, huge shout out to Black Geek Tutorial here on YouTube. Kind of bounce some stuff off of him when actually coming up with what to say in today's video. You can find a link to his channel down below, as well as one link to my website for some of the other resources that I utilized here in today's video. That one link contains everything, including the wallpaper I have on my iPhone. For those of you who have yet to see it, Hacker Luca Tedesco released a video in which he was able to successfully jailbreak iOS 9.3.2 utilizing something very powerful. This is different than anything he's ever released in the past. Now I do have his video up here and I'm not going to directly link to it for a number of reasons. Most notably, and I need to say this and stress this right now, he is not going to release this jailbreak. However, there is some good news to come of it, primarily that it is possible to jailbreak iOS 9.3.2 and someone else could in theory utilize this exact method to release a jailbreak of their own. So if anything, it shows that it is possible. Also, he does badmouth me in the description of this video, which is kind of childish to say the least, especially since I've never had anything but praise to share with you guys about Luca Tedesco. I've of course given him props in the past for actually contributing to the jailbreak community and for helping groups like Pangu release a jailbreak. So he's definitely a skilled and talented individual. However, he obviously doesn't like people talking about him in video videos, which is what I've done, and that prompted the negativity in this video that we're going to be talking about. But that's enough of that. Let's actually get into what's happening. So inside of his video, he actually launches up Mobile Safari, which is of course what we're inside of right now. And through a jailbreak me like exploit method, keep in mind that this is definitely not jailbreak me because jailbreak me was Comex's branded Mobile Safari jailbreak way back when. Remember that? Jailbreak me was absolutely awesome. So that's probably why he's utilizing it in the title because it is very similar in the sense of how it actually deploys. Also, he could potentially be using some of the old jailbreak me code to install Cydia after the new exploits deployed. Basically, he loads up Mobile Safari and accesses an IP address, but it's not a public IP address. It's probably local on his network, so you will not be able to access it yourself. But either way, it is remote in the sense that he is accessing a server of some sort. It just isn't connected to the internet and doesn't have a public or outward facing IP. So once he visits that page inside of Mobile Safari and gets things started, on the actual web page that loads, it crashes Safari and adds none other than Cydia to his home screen, which of course he then loads up and something kind of unusual happens for a freshly jailbroken device. And this is why a lot of people were actually claiming that it was fake to begin with. It doesn't do the whole preparing file system thing that Cydia runs through after every new jailbreak. Now the reason for that is because he's disabled stashing inside of Cydia because it isn't a fully untethered jailbreak. He said that it's purposefully missing the untethered package and he was able to disable stashing using a file called Cydia No Stash. Luca also said that he has a method to make it untethered but that it wasn't applied to the device highlighted in this video. Now, let me get into why this jailbreak is so important and so valuable. For one, it actually exploits via mobile Safari. For those of you who don't know, those type of exploits are extremely valuable. In the past, a group was created by the name of Zerodium that kind of acted as a broker and they acted as the intermediary between hackers and other third-party anonymous organizations who were interested in purchasing jailbreak utilities whose main exploits could actually be triggered inside of Safari or remotely, which is exactly what Luca Tedesco is doing. And what's really interesting is that while in the past Luca Tedesco has likely utilized what's referred to as a fail break, meaning a jailbreak that simply cannot be released to the public. This doesn't appear to be one at all. We're here on the iPhone wiki and the definition of a fail break is quote, the term fail break is used to mean one or more of two things, an incomplete or otherwise flawed jailbreak that cannot run Cydia Substrate properly or a jailbreak that cannot be released to the public for some reason. Now that's pretty vague. So a fail break really covers any sort of a jailbreak utility that cannot be released. And what's likely happened in the past in his jailbreak teasers is that he utilized something like an Apple developer account for the initial unsigned code execution, obviously that cannot be released to the public. So hence the term fail break, but this is something else entirely remember because it does exploit inside of mobile Safari and it exploits in WebKit to accomplish this. It's almost certainly a full jailbreak. And what's really cool is that Luca Tedesco actually didn't discover the exploit that he's using. It was discovered by someone else and it's the exact same exploit that caused WebView for the PS4 to actually crash. 
that could potentially be utilized for a PS4 jailbreak. So this is something that's even bigger than iOS and could extend beyond what we have here on iPhones, iPads, and iPod touches. It's also very powerful and very, very dangerous. Now we're here on GitHub. This is some information on the original WebKit exploit. However, of course, it's not everything in the exploit in its entirety is not documented because that would be incredibly dangerous, as I mentioned previously. If this were released, Apple would certainly have to release a new update very, very quickly, similar to what they did in the past when Jailbreak Me was released by Comax, because something like that exposes what's now billions of devices. So the only way to fix that is to release a new iOS update. Now, as I said before, Luca Tedesco will not release anything. He actually says on his Twitter account in his description that he doesn't release Jailbreak Utilities, but this does show that it is possible and that someone who has the knowledge and skills to create a jailbreak utility can do it utilizing this method. The only thing is once they actually do it, it will be out there in the public and individuals with malicious intent could utilize it for their own gain or to harm others. So if it is ever released and if it does make it into the wild, something will have to be done about that. Most likely a patch will be available inside of Cydia to close up that vulnerability once exploited through a jailbreak, which again is exactly what happened with jailbreak me. So some very interesting stuff here. I'm super excited. Let's hope someone like Pangu or Taiji will actually make great use of this and release a new jailbreak for iOS 9.3.2 and they better do it soon because you can probably bet that Apple will patch it by rushing iOS 9.3.3 to the general public because it was already closed in iOS 9.3.3 beta 1. That's right, this exploit will only work on 9.3.2 and lower. So I hope you guys liked this video and I hope it was really helpful. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it around if you appreciate it. I know some of you aren't fans of the constant jailbreak updates, but this one was definitely needed. It's super important, and I really feel like this analysis was required. And if you want to be updated more often, such as when I release similar videos, just be sure to click the subscribe button next to my channel name if you have yet to, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out. Join the iCrack Your Advice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop, or check below. Oh.